Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when feet and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Royal representing for I just star mindset Rich forever Special location is called Jamrock, Ghana. See, and we have with us the face of Jamrock, Ghana. His name is Hawaii. Hawaii. Bless you, love, my lad. Respect. Pleased to meet you, my brother. Nice to meet you. Man. And I'm special. It's like. Respect. Hey, catch it. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. My wife is Ghanaian. So. Ah, I get in there. Yeah, yeah. So, Hawaii. Hawaii. I hope I pronounce it properly. Yeah, man. I, how long did I do in Ghana? Uh, next month, which is March, we make three years now. Yeah. Three years? Mm -hmm. Wow. How did I, how did I find in Ghana? Nah, to be honest with you still, I think Ghana agree with me. As yeah. Jamaicans would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's changed my life a lot. Um, in terms of when I came to Ghana, I was just a young boy, you know, chasing a dream. Now it's, it's, it's a lot more solidified. Um, I have more direction now, you know what I mean? I look different, I, I feel different. Um, you know, it's a different vibe here. The, the, the place accept me, the people around me, the of the people. Everything local right now, you understand? <laughs> we don't really, we don't normally see young youth like the eye coming into Africa unless are your parents are bring you like that, <laughs> especially at Jamaica, a uh -huh. virgin who are leave from you know the, the, the islands, you know coming into Africa. What persuaded that I to really make that transition? I, I would say I would say opportunities persuaded me the most. Um, they always say where there is struggle, there is opportunity. So you know when I came over, obviously I don't think the people are struggling like all oh, the people are hungry. No, it's not like that. But there are gaps that need to be filled in society. And I think I have the ideas and the innovation to plug these gaps. And if I come in at an early stage and at an early age, by the time I get to like 45 years old, let's say 50 years old, I'll be okay. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's, it's just more of future planning and generational planning. Because, you know, right now we're, we're always a generation behind. You see me? Whereas, you know, maybe our, our parents didn't go to school and then struggle and then they didn't, they, you know they didn't really have the money to send us to this thing or you know but then now what I want to do is jump a generation ahead or two generations ahead where we know we we'll have resources for all of you them are covered. You understand? And Africa is the best place to learn for me as a young man. Yeah, so we 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 we're here at um Jamra Ghana. It's, it's like a resort. <laughs> nice, yeah, eh? Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Talk to about what, what's happening here. Uh, it's, it's, it's very beautiful. Uh, right now, so Jamrock, Jamrock is like a family business. Um, in terms of, well, I'm not biological family, but I've been added to a family. So when I was coming here, I met a Jamaican, see? And the Jamaican is married to a Ghanaian who owns this place, Jamrock, you see me? But um, Jamrock now is just, it's the biggest Jamaican brand in West Africa. Um, you know, everybody knows about jam rock by now. Um, so, you know, it's, it, we provide authentic Jamaican food. We have a Jamaican chef um, who's from Jamaica. We brought him in earlier um, last year, 2022. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big thing, man. A big operation, rather. Big thing, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Big food, chef, and all of them. Just cool, man. Just cool, man. You think it's serious, then? Yeah, man. A serious thing. Very serious. So, yeah. all right. The, the, the place look good. The aesthetic, I can see that they have um, a lot of um, prominent figures, you know, um, who, who, who have paved the way yes. For, yes. For, for us as a people. Yes. Why, why we kind of, you know, why the aesthetic? Uh, you know, you know, I, I mean, well, if you check, if you check Jamrock's demographic, yeah. um, the people who come here are more, most the people who are connected to the diaspora. Um, people who are a little bit more matured, so it's not the young a Jamaican that said, Take a wreck, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's more of people who are culturally aware. 
So what we do is that um, this idea with the, with the faces on the walls, um, it came during our independence celebration for Jamaica. So you know, we, we, Jamaica, Jamaica celebrates independence in August, and um, it was August time when we wanted something to you know spice up the place a little bit, and we came up with the idea of using prominent figures. Yeah, yeah. And she she came in and she's also assisting with like training and development. And so we work as a team. That's why I said it was a family business in the beginning. Because we, even though we're not biologically connected, connected we work as a family. Yeah. 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 Doing like a, a retreat or a tour mm -hmm. back, back to Jamaica. Yes, yes, yes. Talk, yes. talk to me about that because we, the Jamaican, who are we who born in Jamaica, and we are looking for come out. True. <laughs> talk to me about the adventure when you know, going back to Jamaica. Alright, so one of the things that um, one of the things that I experience here a lot is that when I tell people that I'm from Jamaica, the first thing that they say to me is that is on their bucket list. They have to go to Jamaica. <laughs> you understand? So, so, so I know that the market is there. And so what happens is that a lot of people now know me through my social media because I'm usually um, you know, telling people about the culture that's here and how it compares to the culture in Jamaica. And so I became popular here and I became popular in Jamaica because of it. So, um, so now what, so a lot of people have me as that connector between the two cultures and so I decided to just monetize and, and just say alright listen um, I can take people to Jamaica and I can take people to Ghana so the first leg is going to Jamaica because you know? I still want to see my youth and my family you understand <laughs> and then I come back and I show the Jamaicans here that is a real Pan-African yeah. vibe yeah. See? Um, so going back to Jamaica, yeah. how long how long the this this been running? Jam Rock. Yeah. How long is it this been existing? Okay, so it's Jam Rock the brand has a, has existed since 2015 or 2016 I think. And but for here it is our second year at this one. So we still be the same. Yeah man, 
Yeah. One thing with Ghanaians <laughs> today, they like them local food, same way, yeah? Yeah. Um, you know. So we still do um, local dishes like we like Banku and tilapia. Um, we do our jollof rice still. You know, we do our stews. We do our, all that thing. We do okra demi. Um, that's one of our that's one of our best sellers actually. So, <laughs> so yeah, so okra demi is uh, everywhere I go. And people say, oh, have you tried the okra demi at Jamrock? Or, or I say, hey, I, I run Jamrock, and they say, hey, the okra demi is really nice. Yeah, but it's one of our best sellers. So. Um, we do local food, we can't neglect. We're in the local market. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're in a Jamaica where, you know what I mean? Everybody wants Jamaica. True. You see me? True. So we have to cater to the tailor. Yeah, diversify. Yeah. 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 Variety the spice of food. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there I speak about reggae music, and you know, every Friday there is like a live thing. Um, they are the entertain artists from Jamaica coming here performing and things like that. Oh yeah, um, we've had a few Jamaicans come through and perform. Um, we have Morgan Heritage, We're not here at the old location. This location we've had Eric Donaldson. Um, he came and he performed for our, our Independence Festival. So he was our headliner for that one. Um, we, we, we've had, um, we've had quite a few. We have Coffee come through, but Coffee didn't sing. Yeah, 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 but we've, we've had Jamaicans come through and, and we, we take care of Jamaicans that come through as well. Busy I Signal came through. Yeah, 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 recently had Busy Signal. Yeah, we took care of Busy Signal in terms of people. So. Okay. so he didn't perform? No, he didn't perform at Jamaica. Okay. Okay. Performed in Ghana, but not at Jamaica. Um, where, where did the item see um, Jamra for like the next three years from now? Did they item Tend to have like um, different branches. Oh, 100 percent. I think that, that that's in the vision for this year. Okay. Um, where we're looking at different locations, and but what we want to do is make, make smaller locations. Is it? Um, it's, so we have one grand location and then we have smaller locations where you know you can access the food, you can access the bike, um, you can access different things. But um, yeah, definitely in three years' time, I think I think Jam Rock will be in West Africa. Uh, and not necessarily just Ghana anymore, you know. Um, we look at branches in Ivory Coast, we hear that there's a, a heavy reggae influence in Ivory Coast. There's a heavy reggae influence in Nigeria. So, and then we make bass. <laughs> a heavy a reggae influence in Nigeria, Togo, these areas. So what we want to do is we want to expand our, our, our restaurants in those areas and make sure that we have a specific formula. So that's even one of the reasons why I've got to the chef. Powers, <laughs> powers. Yeah. Gambia also. Yeah. Gambia. Gambia. Oh yeah, Gambia like Jamaica too. Yeah, I've heard that one. So, alright, yeah, they're looking to, to expand and, 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 and grow, which is, which is a good thing. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Um, the item here of local Ghanaian working as a as, star as, uh, yeah. here in Jamaica. Yeah, um, no, so we have one Jamaican in the kitchen who's the, who's the chef, Dean, um, and we have, we don't have Jamaicans who work as, as waiters or anything, but we have the, the rest of the staff is, is local. Um, of, of, um, of, if you look at the management team now, then I am Jamaican, um, Raphael is Jamaican, um, he, he's married to Liz. Okay. Um, you know, there are so many new roads that have popped up, so many new buildings that have popped up since I've been here in three years. But I still know that the market is still young. So it is it is still it still has a world of opportunities. Um, but in terms of development, I think it's moving rapidly. Um, you look now, you realize that there are so many people who are coming across to see what is happening here, to see what's going on, people are coming for holidays, people want to see what is in Ghana. So so therefore the development has to has to move with the pace, so uh, that, but I think the pace is a little bit slow, is in, in terms of meeting the match or meeting the demand, which is why I think the diasporans need to come in now and start planting their feet and say, all right, property here, resort here, um, restaurant here, this thing here, that thing here, and start developing like that. So, um, the slogan, Africa Waste is Creator, you see that as a reality? Oh, 100%. Yeah? 100%. I think the people in the diaspora, when you, when you come here, and it's not a disrespect to Ghanaians, but it's just, when you, when you recognize the society, you realize that a lot of the people are subdued. Um, they, they live in fear. Like, it's not, 
it's not fear like oh everybody scared. yeah it's not scared like that but it's just that nobody like a lot of people aren't ready to take initiative mm -hmm. you see me or try something new mm -hmm. or or do something different but i think the people in the diaspora have the new ideas and they are the ones being worked out anyway because they are the ones being used to build the, the networks and the roads and the this and the that and i'm saying yeah take your skill and you come here and you, you collab with the people, you see me? I say, open the people's eyes, because the thing is, you know, it's exposure, you know, that changes a lot of things, you see me? If you aren't exposed to opportunities in, let's say, tire making or whatever, you aren't, you aren't exposed to those things, and you don't think about those things, you understand? So once you come, the people come with the ideas, and new, fresh ideas, and they expose the people, then it will open a world of opportunities for the people who come and the people who are here. You know? Totally agree with that. So, um, development, because a lot of people um, in the West, you know, they, they, they look at Africa at this, as, as a place where it, it, it does mud hot houses and <laughs> them, them, them type of vibe, you know what I mean? But as far as what I can see, I can see that, you know, Ghana is a rapidly developing nation everywhere I go. I see new houses, new yeah, buildings, new um, hotels and apartments going on. Um, why, why, why people from the West should come? Right now, first things first, people, that people from the West should come because they're black. That is the very first thing. That is at the forefront of everything. Because at the end of the day, there's many rivers to cross when you're, when you're not white in that area. Yes. <laughs> You understand? So it's many rivers to cross. You might come and you might say, oh, there's corruption here. and Yeah, but there's corruption everywhere. I just, I always say there's corruption everywhere. It's just that white man knows how to hide it better than that man. That man just wants to spend and buy some new car. And, <laughs> you understand? Yeah, yeah. But, um, but, for, but when, it comes to, when it comes to future development and generational wealth and generations, and this is where we have to do it. Because then we recognize that in the West, our generations are not doing any better. As much as the generation have come, it's trickling down. Tum, tum, tum. You say, oh, the first, just the other day, like last year, it was the first black president of Apple. I'm, and everybody was celebrating, I mean, or first black CEO. I'm going to say, I'm say, and I'm say, you know, it was a big, something like, was huge for black people because now, and I'm saying, why is that huge for black people? Like, seriously, like, if you think about it, what, what, why the, what, what makes that huge for black people? Are we not capable of doing those things? You see me? So why is it that now you go look at me now and single it out and say, oh, oh, you black man, oh, he's a black man now, he's a president. You didn't do that last year when there was a white man inside. You see me, David? Even when the first, even when Apple opened its doors and there was the first white CEO, nobody said there was the first white CEO because no. they expect. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But when you come here, it becomes different. You're no longer a black man, you're just a man. You see a man, a black man owning a motel, a black man owning a bank, a black man owning a... Um, a resort, mm -hmm. a black man owns everything. Um, I don't want to take oppression. I don't like oppression. See? And I can push that aside and say, I don't want oppression. I can take whatever else is over here. So, But just understand that my opportunity is different. You see me? And, 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 and what we can see and what we can do and what we can help. The market is here. The market is big. Listen, there are so many opportunities for black people in this place. Here? <laughs> so many opportunities. So my brother, um, which three words would you use to describe um, Jamra to the rest of the world? Jamra, Ghana. Culture, vibes, great food. I don't know if great food. Great food, I don't want, I don't want red, but I'll use it as one word. Great food. <laughs> hear it right here from the brand ambassador, Kabai. Yeah. Yeah, brother. It's an honor. Respect. A pleasure to Respect. have you on the program. Respect. Much love, much love. <laughs> yeah. Mindset, like, subscribe, check up on the roof. And as I was For thousands of years, humans have been searching, studying the plants around us, working to create herbal healing solutions, blended with the best from Mother Nature a gateway to healing and a better life. This is the answer. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I guess start the mindset. Smash
smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset.